Let us understand about isochoric process. In an isochoric process, the volume remains constant. Since the volume remains constant in the process, no work is done on or by the gas. Going back to the equation, delta Q equals to delta U plus delta W. Here, delta Q is the heat supplied. Delta U is the change in the internal energy. And delta W is the work done. Since in the isochoric process, delta W is zero, as no work is done, hence, the equation becomes delta Q is equal to delta U. That is, the heat absorbed by the gas goes entirely to change its internal energy and its temperature. Before going any further, let us remember a very important point. The change in temperature for a given amount of heat is determined by the specific heat of the gas at constant volume. Isobaric process Now let us understand about the isobaric process. In an isobaric process, the pressure of the system is fixed as the gas goes from one state to the other. Hence, the work done by gas in this process would be W equals to P into V2 minus V1 equals to mu r into T2 minus T1 using the gas equation. Here, mu is the amount of substance of gas, r is the gas constant, T2 is the final temperature, T1 is the initial temperature. Since temperature changes, so does the internal energy. The heat absorbed goes partly to increase the internal energy and partly to do work. The change in temperature for a given amount of heat determined by the specific heat of the gas at constant pressure. Cyclic process. Now let us understand about the cyclic process. In a cyclic process, the system returns to its initial state after some time. As you can see in the graph that the system from state 1 goes to state 2 then to state 3 and 4 and finally returns to the initial state 1. Since internal energy is a state variable, delta U equals to 0 for a cyclic process. As internal energy is a state function, and since in cyclic process the system comes back to its initial state, from the equation, delta Q equals to delta U plus delta W. Since delta U is zero, hence, the total heat absorbed equals to the work done by the system. Hence, 
in a cyclic process to the work done by the system.